Welcome back. We continue with one of our top stories at this hour. Now to provide some analysis on the expulsion of ANC uh, former Secretary General Ace Mahashule. We are now joined by political analyst Sandile Leswana and, and he joins us via our Zoom link. Um, Sandile, thank you so much for joining us here on the late edition. One would ask, was this the only option the ANC had following uh, that letter it gave uh, to the former Secretary General uh, to, of course, uh, give some reasons within seven days why he should not be expelled? Were they left with no other choice but to expel him? Yes, Mbali, good evening and to your viewers. Uh, in the present circumstances, they were left with no option. And, and there is a good reason for that. In the sense that from the start of this saga, they have been trying to ask the Secretary General to retract his suspension of the, I mean, to apologize and retract his wrongful actions that he had done from the start. And of late, they gave him time to give reasons and show remorse, etc., etc., why he should not be expelled from the organization, which is a very serious threat. And it's a historic move for the ANC to actually fire its Secretary General. And uh, he, he, he defied them. So, uh, uh, so they had to take a, a step. There are reasons why he took that position, but uh, for now, from their point of view, I, I think they had no choice. Mm. And what does it mean, uh, Sandile, you know, when it comes uh, to the ANC's fight and its rhetoric for the past couple of years, saying that, uh, you know, uh, they are on a road uh, of renewal, they are on a road uh, towards unity, and, you know, they want to get rid of factional battles? Because you'd remember uh, that uh, Ace Mahashule he made it quite clear from the beginning, if you would remember... Uh, uh, that famous clip where he said it's just five years and of course we always knew because of that clip that he did not get along with the ANC president Cyril Ramaphosa. What does this expulsion then mean for the party going forward? The, the expulsion and also the defiance, I think they, they go together, the defiance on the part of uh, Ace Mahashule and the expulsion on the part of the current uh, ANC, NEC, reflect the hardening of position, positions among the ANC factions. In terms of renewal, I hope you picked up that uh, uh, there's a fellow, the advocate Pretorius, who was an evidence leader at the Zondo Commission, who very recently said that the Gibbs, uh, which is the Pretoria Business, University of Pretoria Business School, that since the Zondo Commission wrapped up its work, the state is acquiring more and more mafia characteristics. In other words, state capture is actually uh, continuing and rising. So from Mahashule's point of view, it would be a case of saying, I'm a thug, to the extent that I'm a thug, I'm being chased out of the ANC by other ANC thugs. So uh, you have one band of thugs chasing another band of thugs, and, and that's where the defiance comes from. Mm. And it's qu quite interesting you pick on that because we just spoke to Snooki Zigalala and we asked him, you know, uh, is the ANC purging, uh, you know, those rotten apples one would say it has? And he says, that, well, this is not a witch hunt. This is not purging uh, of, of its uh, leaders and basically saying that, uh, you know, uh, Ace Mahashule was given in, uh, enough time, you know, to appeal and come uh, before the NDC. And of course, uh, he did not uh, uh, present himself uh, before the NDC. What do you make uh, of that statement saying that this is not a move of the ANC purging members? Uh, unfortunately, uh, th th maybe we can make at least two comments about that. The first one is that a lot of the ANC leaders have said the corruption in the ANC, which calls them for renewal, is systemic. Uh, you then have to say probably more than 70% of the ANC members and ANC leaders are the problem that the ANC has. 
Um, in that instance, also, you would find that if you were to trace carefully the very history of Snuggiz Galala, there are a few things that have been damaged in this country because of his actions, damaged in the ANC, damaged in the country, including the broadcasting space. Uh, so so, so you, this is a problem where when you grab one part of the ANC thinking that it is solid, you, because it is so rotten, you just come with that piece because it's falling apart. Uh, so this, this, they are in a very, very difficult, very difficult situation. Once you use the word that something is systemic, uh, then you have a big problem. Mm. And what impact uh, would uh, this expulsion then, uh, you know, do to the to the ANC, especially in particular uh, to the fact that he has been uh, the premier in the Free State for over two decades. Uh, he's somebody with a lot of power in that province. He then went on to occupy a very strategic position in the ANC. Surely it will have some sort of, you know, dent on the ANC, especially uh, going towards the 2024 elections. That is my guess as well, that uh, the ANC factions are becoming ANC-related parties. So, for instance, the EFF would be one of those parties, ATM would be another one, UDM, Andabantu Olomisa, and so on. So a person who has got different views from a dominant faction at a point in time eventually has to leave the ANC or gets expelled from the ANC. Then you have smaller younger versions of the ANC outside of the ANC, which have got sympathizers inside the ANC. Many people make the mistake of thinking that Zuma and Esma Hashula do not actually have supporters in the ANC. There is a significant percentage of ANC members who support, and ANC voters, by the way, who support them. So one of the possible implications of this is that in the 2024 elections, if visible signs are anything to go by, the likes of EFF and Mahashule might be campaigning very strongly against the ANC in the Free State and taking away actual votes from the ANC. And one would ask, oh, why is the ANC not concerned when it continues to expel some of its members? We've also recently seen, uh, with the expulsion of Karl Niehaus, uh, they then went again and formed another uh, party, uh, you know, after that, the, uh, the radical economic transformation movement. Uh, at the same time, we now have the third biggest party, which you have made uh, reference to, the EFF. Uh, and they've become, uh, you know, a party that wields a lot of support in this country, should the ANC not be concerned about its continued expulsion of its former leaders, who then go ahead and form parties that go up against the ANC? Running a liberation movement uh, such as the ANC is a very difficult exercise because as you run the liberation movement, you are also infiltrated by enemies of the liberation movement. Some of them rise to the top leadership, including the presidency at times of the very same liberation movement, because there is no rational explanation of why from the Pulukwane conference until today, the ANC has been on a downward, a clear downward trend of decline. And nobody's arresting that. So you have to assume that within the ANC, whether those are agents of Western Europeans and the Western imperialists and other types of mafia and other things like that, and general counter-revolution is in charge of the ANC. So that decline, which would ordinarily in a normal and healthy party be, uh, uh, be arrested on short notice and not allowed to go the, to the extent that. So the only rational exp explanation is that you have what they um, might called Ascaris, sometimes policy Ascaris and counter-revolutionaries of various kinds controlling the agency. So the ANC at this point in time should, cannot be taken seriously as a liberation movement, as a revolutionary force within the African continent and in South Africa particularly. All so right. that is why they allow the decline to happen.
All right, then, Sandy Leswana, thank you so much uh, for your time and for your thoughts uh, on one of the top stories uh, for today. That is indeed uh, Sandy Leswana, their political analyst, uh, just giving us his insights in terms of the expulsion of the former ANC Secretary General Ace Mahashule. Let's take a quick ad break. Uh, more news.